All right, y'all. We back. It is time to move out the old and move in the new. The, the McMahon Helmsley era is running the show. If you Again. mess with us, you've got two choices. You either get your ass kicked or you get your ass fired. Oh, bro. will defend the world championship against Big Show, against The Rock, and against this man, Mick Foley. Okay. Who will survive the first ever fatal four-way elimination match at WrestleMania? I've never watched it. that match in person. I've never seen it. Uh, so the Rock won because it's Rock, but I don't know. Honestly, All right, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is the fatal four-way elimination match for the WWE Championship. Introducing first, from Setucket, Long Island, New York, weighing 287 pounds, Mick Foley. Will Mick hmm. Foley's career have a storybook ending tonight? Hell no. You're gonna lose. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 500 pounds, the Big Show. King, the question here is, will this seven foot two, 500 pound sleeping giant awake and become the most dominant player? I gotta tell you, JR, it's hard. It's very, very hard to pick sides against the Big Show. Seven mm. feet two, 500 pounds, mm. the most physical man in this match mm. he's potentially the most dominant competitor ever all right that's enough making his way to the ring from miami florida weighing 275 pounds the rock. will the rock reach the promised land tonight oh look at that walk of determination by the rock i'm telling you i have never seen the rock this motivated oh, you gotta pick the Rock doesn't need any help. It's The I'm Rock's done. destiny to become the champion. Mm -hmm. But will it be tonight? From Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 260 pounds, the WWE Champion, Triple H. He is indeed the game. The top man in this business is... Mm. For the first time ever, the WWE Championship is being contested in a fatal four-way match at WrestleMania. You know, JR, these four guys have been at each other's throats for the past few months. The Rock won the Royal Rumble, but Big Show beat him at No Way Out for his title shot. And at the same event, Triple H sent Mick Foley into retirement in a hell of a cell match. That's right, King. It was looking like a straightforward match until The Rock beat Big Show to retain The Rock's WrestleMania title shot. And then Linda McMahon announced that the main event would be a fatal four-way and that all four of these superstars would be competing. Oh, bro. Oh, clothesline! Oh, the Big Show is an angry, angry... 
hungry giant. And that is something that you do not want coming at you, especially when the title is on the line. Come on, come I on. I expect big things from Big Show in this match. And a counter. Beat him. Beat him. Y'all are. Oh. And a nicely executed fall away slam. Russian leg sweep. Spybuster. He missed. Mm. I think after that, I'll be searching in my tights for a white flag I could wave. Straight kick. Over with. In a fatal four-way match, it doesn't matter how big the man is. There are four superstars in the ring, and regardless of size, those odds are never in your favor. You have to team up in a match like this. Mm. You make an alliance, and then when they least expect it, it's every man for himself. The big show is so the big show is looking shaky out there. When you are that big a man, the target on your back is every bit as big as you are. When you have three guys on you, wearing you down, teaming up on you, it's a Let's perfect go. example of when size doesn't matter. Especially when those three guys are Mick Foley, Triple H, and The Rock. That's mm. it. He's out. A great counter. Uh-oh. Big show. Oh, no. Oh no. Come on, y'all. Help me. Come on. Like, how? After one move? Really? Like, that should be fake. For the first time ever, the WWE Championship is being contested in a fatal four way match at WrestleMania. You know, JR, these four guys have been at each other's throats for the past few months. The Rock won the Royal Rumble, but Big Show beat him at No Way Out for his title shot. And at the same event, Triple H sent Mick Foley into retirement in a Hell in a Cell match. That's right, King. It was looking like a straightforward match until The Rock beat Big Show to retain The Rock's WrestleMania title shot. And then Linda McMahon announced okay. that the main event four-way and that all four of these superstars will be competing remember there are no count outs in this contest this match could end up anywhere back into the ring now oh wow another knee he almost took his head off with that larry his strike it's nothing but air stiff collar and elbow tie up triple h executed that move to perfection and there's The Rock and Mick Foley, a great tag team at one point in time, now facing each other okay. in the main event at WrestleMania 16. Oh, The Rock and Sock Connection were a great tag team. Man, come on. There are no alliances here tonight. The Rock, a somewhat reluctant tag team That's partner to Mick Foley, certainly has no issues in forgetting. That's it. He's done. He misjudged the range on that one. looking right. shaky out there when you are that big a man the target on your back is every bit as big as you are when you have three guys on you wearing you down teaming up on you it's a perfect example of when size doesn't matter oh what this is Foley's baby boy fulfilling a lifelong dream tonight in the okay. main event of Wrestlemania taking part in a match that is seemingly tailored for him. a fatal four way there are no friends in this match, JR. It's all about the WWE Championship. Before this match is over, I think we'll see. The Rock is in a world of hurt, King. And now Mick Foley has come to get him some of the great one. Over with. Triple H 
Edge is directing traffic tonight. It looks like he's telling Mick Foley to do his dirty work. What the Wait a fuck? minute, what's he doing? If this was a hockey match, we'd say he hit the boards. Oh, and Triple H saw it coming. Oh, okay. Bro, too fast to get caught in that. Back into the ring now. It's nothing new, but Triple H is getting inside the head of his opponent here. Triple H is tipping away. There's no doubt he's going to need an ice pack in the locker room tonight. Looking to retain the WWE Championship against all odds. Triple H is so smart, so devious. I'm sure he's got a great game plan. There's no way he walked in here without some kind of plan. The way he's not called the game for nothing, JR. Triple H is the ultimate student of the game. He always has a game plan, always has a way to walk out the champion. Kenny throughout this entire match. Triple H has tried to get each competitor to take each other out to do his dirty work. Yeah, you're over with, Nick. Sorry. Mm. Man, what the fuck are you doing? Missed him. Okay. Come on. My God Almighty, going for the cover. Nice shot to the stomach. Oh, boy. Bro. Triple H. That's it. He's out. There's a cover. One. Two. Nice two. Where the heck did that happen? Falling's gone. Reverse it. All right. Come on. Bro, what the fuck? We have seen this before, JR. Seen nearly superhuman efforts to capture the WWE Championship. And tonight is no different. It's looking more and more like the WWE title will change hands tonight. Oh, what a pedigree. That's it. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. The game looks to be in a bit of trouble here. physical the rock with those steel steps in position as a weapon <laughs> to relate retaliates the rock is under that steel the rock's getting mm. assaulted mm. Mm. It's down to The Rock and Triple H for the WWE Championship. Oh, I think The Rock can feel it slipping away. Yeah, get the fuck up. Ouch! Whip right into that wall. Those steps are reinforced steel, and he's trying to use them as a weapon. What the fuck? What the fuck? The great one is in some serious trouble here tonight. What would happen, JR, if it was Mick Foley and The Rock as the last two in the ring? I'd have to pick The Rock in that scenario. 
One thing I've learned over the many years of calling matches ringside is to never, ever count out Mick Foley. The man is tougher than a $2 steak. Yeah, but look at the great one. The Rock is a third-generation superstar, son of Rocky Johnson and grandson of High Chief okay, Peter Maivia. If it's between The Rock and Foley, my money is on The Rock. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. He just nailed him with that choke slam. Wow. And roll what the back fuck? into the ring now. Again with a clothesline. with devious intentions and the rock counters oh triple h didn't see that coming they are both laid out all right come on has taken so much out of this guy he's not going to give up but man this has been physical the fuck out, out of here and the rock counters it uh oh there's a chair come on the fuck Biggest stars of the Attitude Era to collide at WrestleMania 17. The fact is, Rock, you got the title and I want it. Stop it! Stop it! How will the Rock retaliate? 
And Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock isn't waiting until WrestleMania. The Bravo Bull is furious. Hey, wait a minute. Your bald-headed double-studded candy ass belongs to The Rock. Wait a minute. The Rock just gave the Stone Cold Stunner the Stone Cold Steve Austin. How personal can this get? Can you imagine what it's going to be like at WrestleMania? Emotions ran high as these longtime rivals set their sights on the WWE Championship. I will give you every drop of sweat, every drop of blood, every ounce of energy I have. I need to beat you, Rock. I need it more than anything that you can ever imagine. You are going to get the absolute best of The Rock at WrestleMania. There can be only one champion, and that will be Rock Stone Cold Steve Austin. With all due respect. Mm. With your candy ass. All right. The following contest is a no disqualification match and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. No disqualification? When was that added? The journey has culminated here tonight. From spinal surgery, from knee surgeries, the rattlesnake could be called the bionic redneck. Because mm. we're deep in the heart of Texas, and Stone Cold is going to challenge to become the top man in the industry. Oh no, what must be going on in his mind right now, JR? Mm. Come on, y'all. Let's get it, man. From Miami, Florida, weighing 275 pounds, the WWE Champion, The Rock. Oh, this is a very partisan Texas crowd. Austin is revered. He's like, like a folk hero. Austin has reached legendary status in his home state of Texas. There's no doubt about it, JR. And for good reason. Stone Cold Steve Austin has backed up everything he has ever said in his career. The rivalry between these two extremely popular superstars, Stone Cold in Houston, Texas, has the advantage. Hmm. All right. All right. And that's what it's all about. That's the prize they're going after right there. No cap. And here we go. This is the second WrestleMania main event between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin won the Royal Rumble to earn the title shot tonight. The Rock won the WWE Championship and no way out. It's almost like these two superstars' careers are intertwined. Hey. They were destined to do battle on the world's biggest stage. One thing for sure, JR, if history is any indicator, this will be a match for the ages. Great counter by The Rock. All right, come on. He fights it off. Oh, no. All right, come on. For the neck break. That'll give so much is on the line here tonight. Not just pride, not just glory. It's not just about the money or the WWE championship. 
The Rock and Austin are the two biggest stars in the world right now. And there can only be one top dog in the WWE. Well, tonight, one way or the other, we're going to find out who the top dog in the WWE is, JR. Okay. The Rock and Austin met two years ago at WrestleMania 15. Austin came out the victor that night. The Rock will do whatever it takes to not have history repeat itself tonight. The WWE Championship is on the line, JR, but these two are also fighting for supremacy of each other. Dear God, what a strike. That can go absolutely heads up. Oh, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Here he comes. Austin with an axe handle elbow drop. There we go. Caught in the arm bar at this point. Another stiff hit. This might be big. Hell, you'll be feeling that in the morning. Austin's got it. The Rock is fighting for something that's much more valuable to him than anything else in his life. The Rock is fighting for the championship tonight, right here in Houston, Texas at WrestleMania. Well, it's all about heart, JR. It's all about personal issues and pride. Okay. And who's going to be the top man in this business? Is it going to be The Rock or Stone Cold? These men knew it. Okay. Look out! The Rock! Rock bottom! Rock bottom! Wait a minute! McMahon just pulled a rock off of Austin! Why did Mr. McMahon pull the rock off of Stone Cold Steve Austin? What the hell? Stone Cold Steve Austin wants the WWE Championship so badly, he has forsaken his hatred of Mr. McMahon. A Stone Cold rock bottom. My Damn. God, Austin scores with a rock bottom. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Now what's going to happen? Remember, there are no countouts in this contest. This match could end up anywhere. Cracks him with the chair. That can cut you, break your bones. Simply put, permanent damage. You've got... Whoa! What a shot through that chair! Hey! He's got the bell! This is the bell oh, keeper supposed to... Well, oh my God! He whacked him with the bell. I bet his ears will be ringing tonight. Somehow, some way, the great one is still standing. But trouble's knocking at his door. Austin, no! This is without a doubt one of the most personal and intense battles. I never thought I would see the day when Steve Austin and Vince McMahon would team up. Right. Hell has most certainly frozen over, JR. Mm. Rock bottom. The Rock scores with a rock bottom on Austin. It looks like that took as much out of the Rock as it did Steve Austin. Austin say that shit dead. He say it's over with right here. Damn. Look at this. He's just barely no, moving. On, I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Austin's got it. Fast press. Look at Austin go. I think he's gonna... This is clearly no longer about just winning the WWE Championship. These two men simply do not like each other. I think you're right, King. We have mm. witnessed a war here mm. tonight, ladies mm. and gentlemen. Mm. Mm. Stone Cold Steve Austin.
Boston mm. with a series mm. of vicious mm. chairs to mm. 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 The Rock. Mm. Don't Steve will do anything. Yeah, this crazy. Anything to become the WWE champion. Put his ass with one more stunner over it. Austin's looking to end this. What a mm. stunner. Going for a pin. Here's the cover. Here's three. Oh, this one is over. Here is your winner and new WWE champion. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Good God Almighty, I can't believe this. What in the hell is this? Right. Austin and McMahon have joined forces. They were in it together the whole time. Steve Austin has joined forces with Satan himself. For the love of God, someone tell me this is not happening. It's happening. Stone Cold Steve Austin has sold his soul for the WWE Championship. Oh my gosh, we are witnessing something that will be talked about for years to come. I don't believe this. What in the hell? I don't believe this. Stone Cold has sold his soul to Satan himself. Why, Steve? Mm. Why this way? I thought I knew that man. I thought I knew Steve Austin. I mm. was there in the hospital when he came out of surgery. I thought mm. I knew him. Mr. McMahon and Stone Cold Steve Austin together? This is a dawning of a new era, the likes of which we have never, ever seen before. Yeah, that's crazy. Damn. He got some brewskis. Toast up. SOB. You gotta get him one too. Stun his ass. Oh wow. Hey. Oh, bro. Alright, y'all. Uh, I think just the end. Let me see. Hey, it is. It is. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all um, two video uh, tomorrow as in Sunday. So this is going to be the second video. Um, and yeah, man, we're going to have another video drop Monday and it's going to be ruthless aggression. But until then, see y'all on part seven, I think. Sayonara. Part eight. But all right, y'all. I'm out this motherfucker.